Captain Glenn King of the Dallas Police Force. What information you gave a little while ago about the uh, search for additional suspects? Mm -hmm. Well, early this morning, uh, members of this department and the uh, the uh, representatives from our district attorney's office uh, with a search warrant in their possession went to an address here in Dallas uh, to uh, talk to a person who was associated where, with the uh, Oswald at the place where Oswald works. They were met at the door by this person and uh, he asked them to come in and they went in to the house at his on his invitation. Uh, the search warrant was not uh, executed because he did invite them in. They asked permission from him to look around the house and this permission was given. They were not able to find anything there who uh, that uh, would indicate his association uh, with this. Nothing in the house at that time to indicate it. Uh, so they asked him to come down to the police station this morning at 11 o'clock for interrogation and he agreed to do so. He did come down this morning at 11. Uh, he is at the present time being interrogated. We do not have anything definite on it, uh, whether there will be any association or not, of course, now we don't know. Do you regard this man as a suspect in this case at this moment? Oh, we regard him as right now as a person to interrogate. Uh, certainly there's not an adequate amount of, of uh, information on it to indicate that he is a suspect. Uh, we do have this. Uh, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has uh, asked us and we join in with them in requesting that any person uh, who was in the vicinity of the assassination yesterday who was taking pictures uh, bring these pictures to the police department here. Uh, anyone who has any information concerning this certainly uh, should contact the police department immediately. Uh, but particularly anyone, and it's, it's logical, I think, that uh, since the president's motorcade was going through, someone in that area might have had cameras and might have been taking pictures. Uh, we don't know of anyone, but if there are such persons, we certainly would urge that they bring their film to the police department. Do you know, Captain, Captain whether Oswald indication? continued to maintain his innocence during the hour he was questioned here this morning? I do not know. I haven't talked to them about his questioning this Does morning. This, uh, going to this home and bringing this man, asking him to come in for him. Mm -hmm. Does this indicate that Oswald has said something that will lead you to believe other people were associated with him in this alleged crime? Not necessarily, no. Is the uh, business associated with Oswald? Did This I do not know. This I do not know. Uh, I don't want to identify him, no, because there's not, uh, there's not, uh, an adequate amount of evidence of any involvement on his part to warrant an identification of him. Is this the person referred to earlier as uh, having a subversive type record who lived or who worked at the same place? Yes. Is he a card man, sir? No. What is the present plan now as far as the prime suspect is concerned? Actually, we will continue the, the investigation, attempting to uh, to uh, find answers to all of the questions on it. Uh, the trend the investigation will take or the, the route it will follow, of course, will be dictated by what happens. But well, what do you do with Mr. Oswald as of right now? What is, what is in I understand that he's been returned to the jail, to his jail cell. Do you know here. when he will be transferred to the county? No, sir, we do not. Will he be interrogated here again this afternoon? We do not know. Could we ask you, sir, what do you know about report that uh, the FBI knew that Oswald was in town. I know nothing about this. The only person uh, that you know of is he in any way to show any indication that he knew that the thing was true. Not, not to our knowledge, no. Not to our knowledge. Look, I'm not. I'm not sure what pictures you're talking about. Not to our knowledge, he did not. No. Captain King, are you in? The this department? is Captain Glenn King of the Dallas Police Force. The person who is listed on the Dallas Police Department subversive list. I don't think that it's it's gone quite this uh, to this extent yet. I don't think we are at the present time uh, interrogating all persons who might be on a, a subversive list. Did no. you take? Uh, uh, if there's any indication of a necessity for it, certainly we're not going to pass up any. Did you any give possible. special consideration to the persons on your subversive list? 
before the president came to town to know where they were, what they were doing? Yes. Uh, then if the FBI had known about him ahead of time and had informed your office, you would have checked up on uh, Oswald as well? I'd, I'd rather not speculate on what might have happened if something else had happened. I don't know. Well, we've been given information earlier today that the FBI did know he was here and had interviewed him within the last couple of three weeks. Mm -hmm. And on this, I have no information. Captain King, is there any question from the police questioning of Oswald so far that he is mentally competent to stand trial? He seems to be, certainly. Would you regard him as a deranged individual in any way? He doesn't seem to be, no. What about a lie detector test? I do not know. Thank you, Captain. Sure. Captain King, thank you very much. Captain King, King. King. Captain Glenn King of the Dallas Police Force.